steam rising from giant cracks that have ripped through Grindavik, Iceland, could be seen from a Coast Guard helicopter on Friday. The country is preparing for what experts believe is a likely volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula, amid growing underground lava flows and intensifying seismic activity. Uh, from midnight to about 8 o'clock this morning there were I think 600 new earthquakes. So uh, mm, the outlook is uh, rather bleak in my opinion. Geophysicist Ari Trousty Goodmanson says the probability of an eruption is high. People now wait in anxiety what is going to happen to the town. If the uh, eruption really occurs, it could spare the town to a large extent. It could also, the lava flow, simply uh, bury the town. So uh, we don't know really which scenario is the most like, like, likely one. Aerial views of the nearby Blue Lagoon, one of Iceland's most famous tourist attractions, show the geothermal spa completely deserted. Authorities have evacuated nearly 4,000 people from the area and were preparing to construct a large dike designed to divert lava flows around a geothermal power plant that provides hot water to the entire peninsula. I check the news, check the news. I've been expecting it to start. Evacuees wanting to go back into town to pick up belongings on Thursday had to queue at a roadblock before they were either driven into Grindavik in emergency vehicles or accompanied by emergency personnel. It's like sitting in a very boring movie, but you're stuck there. You can't get out of it. It's, it's unreal. It's hard to digest. Other residents also said the waiting for the eruption was the worst part. My house is okay, but it's on the red area, so it's, uh, it has collapsed. Uh, you know, the earth has collapsed about one meter or something. We don't know if we're going to have a home or what, because if it doesn't erupt, we don't know anything. 